More Baker talk? All right, welcome back to the One Bar Lepagus Show. I'm One Bar with Lepagus and Dan Graziano ruffling some feathers at ESPN saying that Baker Mayfield could be a possible good fit for the Minnesota Vikings. A dark horse, I should say. You ever actually ruffled some feathers in real life? No, I'm on, on, like on a bird. Are gross. Yeah, they are gross. Uh, yeah, before we talk about what Mr. Graziano had to say, uh, again, subscribe to the channel, like the vids. We are trying to get to 7,300 subscribers. In the next couple of weeks, let's shoot for that, huh? Oh, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. But will Baker Mayfield be a Minnesota Viking? And before we just hurry up and just completely shoot this thing down, let's at least look at why the Vikings or why it could even be a potential possibility. Why it could be a potential possibility? Because the Vikings do have to start thinking about life after Kirk Cousins. Uh, he's got, what, two or three years left here. So how much longer than that is he going to play? I don't know if they're going to renew him after that or not. So you have to start thinking about life after Kirk Cousins. And you see a guy like Baker Mayfield, who has started in the league for four years now, uh, potentially becoming available. It's something that will garnish some talk, whether it makes sense or not. Uh, Vikings have Kellen Mond on the roster right now, who is definitely an unknown commodity. So at least talking about it, it's definitely worth talking about. Oh, yeah. I mean, and, and Quasi clearly has the ties. This man probably knows Baker Mayfield damn near better than Baker Mayfield knows him. So, uh I mean, he, he knows right off the bat if he wants anything to do with Baker Mayfield. So, I mean, that that's really the only reasons. He would be the future for the Vikings. If for some reason the Vikings were to implode this year and Kirk Cousins clearly is just not the guy, at least they could maybe have Baker Mayfield sitting there waiting. And I don't know, was Graziano, I didn't read the article, but is he was he talking release? Because that's kind of what I've been hearing more, that he's more likely to get released than get anything in a trade. So was that what his angle was if he gets let go? Or is this talking trade? I think it was a little of both, K-Dog. Um, all right, so here, here's another thing. So you look at Baker Mayfield as a player, right? He's coming off his worst season. I don't think he was healthy last year. I know you're way more down on him as a quarterback than I am. But you Everybody look at what's coming horrible. up next year's draft, a loaded quarterback class. So you, why would you bring in this guy who's probably at best – and above average quarter, slightly above average quarterback in the league. I'm talking slightly. Um, what he does bring to the table, he's got some good leadership skills. He's a motivator. He wants to win. He'll give you everything he's got. It's not really the most accurate with his arm. He can take off, make plays with his legs. And his best years, I mean, his quarterback rating, where was it here? I mean, it's 95 ninths when his best quarterback rating. So slightly above average quarterback. I would rather roll the dice on a young guy coming out than go with Baker Mayfield. Yes, you know what you're getting, but what you're getting isn't going to be elite. Yeah, I mean, and stuff's coming out where he doesn't sound like he was a very good teammate. Sounds like he wasn't very well liked. So uh, I, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, Lepagus and I, we, we're on the same page on this. I mean, if it were to happen, a, a trade, I mean, the, the Browns would have to eat almost that whole. I mean, he's, he's due $18 million. The Browns would have to eat, like, all of that, mm -hmm. uh, have a nice hearty snack. And then, and then he's a free agent after this year anyways. So if this were ever to come to fruition, it would have to be – him getting released or have to be next year when he's a free agent because Quasi, you know, maybe he loves this guy. Maybe he's got a heart on for him. Maybe he wants him to come here and, and go for it, but it ain't going to be in a trade. No way. Not, not only release, but it has to be like Kirk Cousins gets hurt in preseason or something. You get very desperate. You want to bring in some kind of a starter because uh, you can't turn the, the thing over here to a Sean Manning or Kellen Mond if you want to be competitive this year, which clearly the Vikings do. They want to be competitive. So you bring in a guy who can do it, who can play. Uh, and Baker, that's the only thing this would actually have any chances of happening. Even then, still very slim. Very slim, but hey, who knows? It is the offseason. And, you know, bring up a good point. The Browns are probably just going to hang on to this dude and hope somebody gets injured because clearly, I mean, Baker Mayfield, what they're going to get for him is nothing. Nothing. And I know you think well, he's an above average quarterback. I think he's not great. Well, and, and in the Browns, I mean, with the Deshaun Watson thing going on, they may need Baker Mayfield, but he's – why would you come back and, and play for the team that pretty much abandoned you here? Oh, so uh, I don't think it's going to happen. They're not, he's never going to wear a Browns uniform again. So every team is going to know that. So they're going to hold off. And, yeah, the best the Browns could probably hope for is like a seventh-round pick two years down the road. A future seventh-round pick. What else could you ask for? We will see. Let us know in comments. Do you want Baker? Do you think it's even a chance? I think Lepikas, I put this at about a 1.2% chance of him being a Viking. 
Yeah, it ain't going to happen. But what is going to happen is this. A group of ladybugs is called a loveliness. Hmm.